Good morning, Mustang family. Welcome back to another beautiful school day here at Horeb Christian School. At this time, rise and join me in the pledges. Please face the American flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please face the Christian flag. I pledge allegiance to the Christian flag and to the Savior for whose kingdom it stands, one Savior crucified, risen, and coming again with life and liberty to all who believe. The pledge to the Bible. I pledge allegiance to the Bible, God's holy word. I will make it a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. I will hide its words in my heart that I may not sin against God. Please be seated. Celebrating birthdays today. We have Sharon Gomez in sixth grade, David Ortiz in fourth grade, David Quintana in fifth grade, and Alba Tapia in sixth grade. Over the weekend, we're going we're gonna to celebrate some birthdays as well. Tazel Madruga in third grade. Happy birthday, brother. K-5, and uh, sorry, one of our K-5 teachers, Mrs. Isabella, will be celebrating a birthday over the weekend, and Coach Mazzone will be as well. I believe they share birthdays. So happy birthday to all of you. God bless you guys. Uh, if you're celebrating a birthday today, make sure to stop by the office for your special birthday button. All right. It is my pleasure to welcome Quick Vic to the mic. All right. Happy Friday, everybody. It's an exciting weekend. It has been such an amazing week with you guys so far, and I'm so excited for next week and for our event day coming up on Thursday and Friday. Today, since it is our weekend, we have a special weekend challenge for you elementary schoolers. If you get a child, if you get a pledge of $2 or more per lap, we are going to bring you an extra secret bonus prize. So make sure you text your parent, you tell your grandparents, your aunts, your uncles, your neighbor, your neighbor's neighbor, and I think your neighbor's neighbor might be you. So go ahead and share with everybody that you know so that you can earn this super cool secret prize. And we can't wait to see you in your classrooms. Have an awesome Friday and we'll see you soon. Awesome. Thank you, Vic. Awesome job. All right, folks. Yeah, and if you haven't done so, please make sure to register at mybooster.com. Uh, I know your students are doing a great job with that. We're motivated. Remember, we're earmarking these funds. We took a little pivot, we are going to earmark these funds to assist and supplementing teacher raises for next year. So we're super excited about that. Hopefully that provides more motivation. I want to commend the Booster Thon team that's here on campus. They're doing a fantastic job. They've been awesome. Uh, we look forward to, uh, to our Booster Thon fun runs coming up next week. All right, folks, uh, we have some exciting announcements. Um, for, uh, for the upcoming school year, we've been meeting uh, some of the leadership teams and uh, I've been informally talking to some of your teachers and uh, some great ideas have spawned and we look forward. We're going to announce just a few uh, right now, but we do have more things on the horizon, exciting programs, uh, exciting new electives coming from middle school and high school. And uh, we're working on some other cool things for you guys. But just to give you a sneak peek, here are a few that we're, uh, we're officially going to be bringing next year. All right. So uh, in order to not only do we want to be bilingual as a school, but we want to be trilingual. Why not know three languages? So starting next year, we are going to be immersing uh, French more into our curriculum and starting next year. So 11th graders get ready. So starting next year, in order to graduate, you are going to have to take 120 question French test um, that will be administered by Mrs. Ruxell on a Saturday. So for further information, please see Mrs. Ruxo. This is something exciting that's happening next year. <clears throat> also, the athletic program continues to grow. We're so psyched about the athletic program. Great job, Coach Caballero, as our athletic director and all the amazing coaches that we have. We are going to be adding polo next year, guys. Believe it or not, we're going to be the first school in Hialeah that offers polo. Uh, so un unfortunately, what we're going to have to do towards the end of the school year next year um, we're going to have to divide half the basketball court. We're going to be creating stables and we're going to, in order to house our horses. Okay. So um, it's exciting. I can't give you um, all the details right now, but if you, if you want more information, please see coach Caballero. All right. Another exciting one, you know, in the effort to, 
to look sharper as a school. It's been by popular demand. The, the students have been asking for it, but it, the idea really came from three individuals in our senior class. Um, starting next year, not only are we going to have chapel tie where you have to wear ties on Wednesday, but we're going to also, we're going to move it to Friday as well. So two days of chapel attire, guys. Guys, you can thank Adrian, Regino, and Brian for this in our senior class. They came to me uh, a couple of weeks ago and they were like, Mr. Mackey, we love wearing chapel attire and we, we want to wear more than one day because we look so good. All right. So thank you, Adrian, uh, Regino, and Brian. I don't know why that never occurred to me. Thank you, guys. Also, guys, next year, Pastor Gronda is going to be offering two for one snacks from the vending machine on Fridays. OK, every Friday will be two for one uh, vending machine snacks. All right. So thank Pastor Gronda for that. Go see him. Give him a big thank you, because that's going to start next school year. All right, guys, we're so excited about everything that's happening at HCS. And uh, and I'm super psyched about the announcements. More are to come. Uh, it's going to be it's going to be a fantastic end of the year. But next year is going to be it's going to blow it out of the water, guys. All right, guys, God bless you. I hope you have an amazing Friday. Let us go to the Lord in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for this day, Lord. We thank you for all the many blessings, Father, that you've bestowed upon us, Lord. Lord, I ask that you keep us sharp, Father. Speak to our teachers today and our students, Father. Be with our support staff. Be with the various leadership teams on campus, Lord, as we, as we not only wind down this school year, but we strategize for the upcoming school year. Lord, we thank you for all that you do. We give you all the praise and glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.